Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is multiplication with decimals and whole numbers. So this is lesson 4-3 in our textbook. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. If we went to MrMathBlog.com, you'd see a, a page that looked like this. And across the top in this ruler right here, you see all your classes. Your class is way behind over here. Let me move, move this toolbar away. Here's fifth grade right there. So if you clicked fifth grade, it come to this site right there and then you can see all the lessons that are on there so we're going to be loading this lesson lesson 43 right below that right there so you'll see some other lessons as they're getting loaded on also okay so here we go uh, so it's going to be here's our common course strand and our question is how can we use drawings and place values to multiply a decimal with a whole number so here we go we have a, a shrew mouse I didn't know what a shrew mouse was but it's a small mole like mammal that weighs about 2.5 grams. So if we had five shrews, about what would the total mass be? So how much would they be? So we're going to use place value here to multiply 5 times 2.5. Okay, let's first estimate though, um, estimate the product by rounding the decimal to the nearest whole number. So 2.5 we're going to round to 3. So we'll put a 3 right here. 5 times 3 is going to be 15. So it's going to be uh, close to 15. It'll be a little bit less because 3 is a little bit more than 2.5. So if our answer is a little bit less, it'll be a reasonable answer. So let me just slide that up. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to multiply the tenths by 5. So here this tenths we're going to multiply by 5. So 5 times 5 tenths is going to get us 25 tenths. Or 2 ones and 5 tenths. So we're going to put the 2 ones and 5 tenths. Here's 2 ones and the decimal is the word and. 5 tens right here, okay? All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the ones by 5. So we're going to multiply this 2 ones by 5. So 5 times 2 ones, let me slide that up right there. So 5 times 2 ones gets us 10 ones or 1 ten, okay? So we can do 10 ones or 1 ten right there. So this is in the tens column. Here's 1 ten right there. All right, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the partial products, okay? We're going to add this 2.5 with, uh, uh, with this 10 right here. So it's going to give us 12.5. All right, let's answer the question. So the, the five shrews, not the three shrews, the five shrews, didn't we say five? Um, the five shrews will have a mass of about uh, 2.5 uh, grams right there, okay? All right, so um, explain how uh, the estimate helped us determine if the answer was reasonable. Well, remember when we talked about uh, 3 being a little bit more than the 2.5 right there, um, uh, since 5 times 3 is going to be 15, we knew that um, uh, our estimate of 12.5 was going to be a little less than 15, and that's a little bit less than 15, so that's a reasonable answer. And that should be a 5 right there, darn it. Oh well. Okay, so let's try another one, you guys. Let's uh, use place value pattern. So Mr. Clark rides his bike to school for eight days. Each round trip is 1.35 miles. So what is his total distance Mr. Clark rides in eight days? Okay, so we're going to multiply eight times 1.35. So here's another way, you guys. We're going to uh, use place value patterns and we're going to write the decimal factor as a whole number. So remember uh, 1.35 times 100 just moves that decimal over two places to the right. So we're going to change this 1.35 to uh, 135. So we're going to multiply 135 times 8. Okay. So let's go ahead and multiply um, uh, with the whole number. So we'll multiply this 135 times 8 like we normally would. Okay. So 8 times 5 is 40. Bring the 0 down for the 40 and carry the 4. And then 8 times 3 is um, uh, 24, plus the 4 is 28. So we'll carry an 8 down here and the 2 right there. Finally, 8 times 1, and then we'll add that 2. Gives us 1,080. Okay, 1,080 right there. Okay, all right. So then uh, we're going to place the decimal point back in. So, so just think, uh, uh, when we did um, uh, 135, uh, 0 0.01 of 135 is 1.35. So let's just find 0 0.01 of 1080, okay? So if we moved the decimal place from here back two places, then let's just take this answer and move it back two places. That's the same thing as multiplying by uh, 0 0.01. So 1,080 is the same as 10.80, okay? All right, so, uh, so for eight days, Mr. Clark rode his bike 
10.80. I'm going to say 10.8 on that. Okay. All right. Hey, let's uh, answer a couple of questions and we'll be done. So explain how we know the product of 8 times uh, 1.35 is greater than 8. Well, we know 8 times 1 is 8. So since 1.35 is greater than 1, then 8 times 1.35 is going to be greater than 8 times 1 which is 8. So this is greater than 1. 8 times 1 is 8. So I know that 8 times this is going to be greater than 8 right there. I hope that makes sense. All right, what if we multiplied 0 0.35 ti uh, times 8? Would the product be less than or greater than? Well, uh, I know 8 times 1 is 8 again, you guys. And since 0 0.35 is less than 1, then 0 0.35 times 8 will be less than 1 times 8, which is equal to 8. So it's going to be less than that, okay? I hope that makes sense, you guys. Hey, if you guys can, would you guys click a big like on there? And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Thanks a lot. Take care, you guys. Hope you're having a great year.